hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today I'm going to show you um, just a quick little video on how to make this little um, envelope journal now originally I was going to make you a bigger one um, which was this one well I was going to show you how to make because I was doing a video on on um, how to make it the process for it but my video didn't work for some reason it didn't record so I do apologize but I did finish it off so I'm going to give you a quick flip through with this one just to see what I've made with the um, shabby shades of purple kit so this is gorgeous really really lovely so it's just one big sheet here and what I've made it from is an envelope here so it's just a brown envelope now I've put the size here which is 12 and 3 quarters by 9 inches um, so that's a really really nice envelope and it's just a cheap one that I got from um, just a local stationery shop um, so I'm going to quickly show you a quick flip through of this one so again I love these papers because purple is one of my favourite colours um, and you've got this beautiful lady here and I've got a little pocket there I've got a couple of little tags on there which I've done which I've popped in sideways we've got a little embellishment here with a little bow um, of course we've got some um, cheesecloth underneath a couple of the little tag embellishments on there a little bit of um, seam binding and ribbon on the side there and then it opens up um, we've got a couple of little pockets either side um, we've got a little journal in here like that so you've got a little swivel closure there a little journal so this is a smaller version of the one I'm going to show you but I didn't use an envelope for the cover for this I just used a old piece of card um, so that goes in there on here we've got a little a little pocket at the top which I've got a couple of bits of um, the paper which were left over as journaling cards so they go in there like that um, and I've got this the lovely um, ribbon trim there as the uh, rose trim I mean um, and this one I've got two little tags here, the bigger tags and then I've got two of the um, paper clips which are lovely, I love that style of paper clip um, so they just pop in there again some little dingly danglies on there um, and we turn it over again and we've got um, another pocket just another piece of paper here which I've used just as a little journaling card in there um, and then just one of the embellishments on there with some of that rose trim this one is the journal in here which again I've just tied together I like tying them together because um, it keeps them all in one place and then we've got a pocket at the back and then I've made an envelope here um, all of the embellishments there which I've popped um, just underneath so it comes down looks nice I've just popped a few of the um, leftover bits in there um, from the kit from the embellishments so I know where they are um, and that goes in there like that a little pocket there so that was my intentions of showing you how to make that but it's quite simple um, so if I get round to it I will do you another tutorial but um, it was quite um, frustrating should I say and it didn't um, video properly so there we go so I'm going to show you how to do this one now this is made out of this one here and this envelope is nine by six and a half inches uh, it's the same style same as the other one but just smaller so this one is lovely now I've used the um, tying in the signature with um, actually making the closure so and I've also I've done it with ribbon so I'll show you how to do this um, afterwards as well when we sew this in um, so it's all part of one so there we go quick and easy this one we've got a lovely little pocket at the front so you pop something in there which is nice I've got a little pocket here uh, at the front of the signature and then one at the back and then we've got a little pocket here we've got one of those little slideys with the heart and here is the closure and the little pocket in there so it's really nice and if you um, are thinking about dare I say Christmas already um, and if you especially if you do um, craft shows um, so the build up to Christmas obviously um, is making all your little bits to, sh to sell in your craft shows um, and these are ideal and as well if you want to give them as um, 
send them as a little presents to people as well they're perfect so I think that's really really lovely okay so to start with we've got this envelope now what I'm going to do I've got a couple of bits of paper here um, left over from the big journal I was doing so I'm going to use those so I'm going to let's see we need to have it so that's the back so it folds over like that so we need to turn that over and stick it that way don't we I believe yes so I need to stick that on like that completely on the back so I'm just going to use some glue stick just glue the whole thing like this I printed the paper onto 120 gram um, paper but you can because you're sticking it on here onto something you can use just normal copy paper because um, you want you don't want it too thick because it, it doesn't really bend very well if you have them too thick so I'm going to just pop this onto here like that stick it down I find it easier just to stick these down like this and then cut around them than trying to cut it to the right size so I'm just going to pop that on there like that squash it down and then just cut it out like this he's a really nice addition to your journals as well in there Oops. there we go pop these bits to the side in my little I've got so much um, scrap paper I really need to start using it up so I might have to do a tutorial on using up some scrap paper figure something out what we can use it for something a little bit different we need don't we okay so that's that piece now I'm going to quickly fold this over let's do this first like that. And I'm going to fold that one in give a little bit of room just like that so that's the front of your journal and then that's the back like that and now what we want to do is stick a piece on this side just up to this piece here so let me get another piece of paper and stick that oops it's upside down so let's just stick some glue on here again you can embellishment embellishment you can embellish them as much as you like um, but if you want to do some sort of like quick ones you can just make them up and then you can embellishment embellish them um, at a different time so I'm going to pop that on there this onto here, move it down a little bit, there we go, perfect, cut around it, like this, these would make um, nice ones with Christmas paper to pop into stockings wouldn't they I've got some working well I'm working on some Christmas papers at the moment um, so they'll be out soon okay so let's pop that now what I want to do now I'm going to just crease that so we've got the book Squish that down. now what I need to do we need to just cut off the top and the bottom piece just a tiny bit so we can open it up now I found that um, 
sticking these on first is a lot easier than sticking them on when you've cut it so that's why I do it first so I'm just going to cut a little slither off here and a little slither off the bottom now I'm going to do that with my ruler and I'm going to just go onto my glass mat so I've got this on here I have a little bit of like vellum tracing paper on there because um, it stops the light reflecting up off the glass cutting mat um, so that's one end just cut a little bit off this end then did I, quite, did I catch it just there we go so then it opens up like that okay but I found it a lot easier to stick it on than sticking it on when you've got it opened out for some reason you might find it easy if you cut it first and stick it on but I didn't so that's how I've done it so there we go so now we want to cut just stick a little bit on this bit like this because we don't want to see that bit and I'm going to just cut a little bit off that end as well let's stick a little bit down here that should work shouldn't it take this sticky bit off there we go a little bit of glue Now. I don't think it really matters. Stick that down and cut round it. So they do with my scissors. done so that's all covered up and then you wouldn't even know it was an envelope now that goes on and that I'm going to just cut a little bit off there I think so this bends over a little bit better like that cut a little bit off here on there like that so that's perfect so now I might even cut a little bit more because I'm going to cut a little arch in here I'm going to cut just a tiny bit more up there just a little bit just like that so that's better right now I want to just cut a little arch in that bit so you've got little um, pocket bit now this is what I used before I popped the lid on there like that doesn't want to be too big just take that and draw around it like that and cut it out and this is what we need to do with the top one as well make the little top pocket so that's that little pocket there and then we want one on here because that's the front bit so we want a little bit on here because I want a top pocket on this piece here so I'm going to do the same thing and just pop that on there draw around it making sure it's sort of even each side and just cut it out again if you've got a biggish hole punch you can use that but 
I'm just going to use this lid. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to cover up the back of this one. So let's see what we've got. Little spare piece on here, which is plenty big enough just to go onto there. Which one's a flat side? Bit of glue like that, and I'm going to just stick that on just like that. So I hope my head's not in the way. Whoopsie daisy. just goes on there like that right so now what I'm going to do I'm going to just sew this piece I'm going to go from this one I'm going to sew on the machine all the way along here around there and down there just on that bit and then down this piece here and also around this pocket bit because that's before we sew this together so these are individual bits that we need to sew first um, and then we can just sew these pieces across here so I'm going to quickly go and do that so I will be two minutes okay so that's the sewing done so I've just sewn around this bit here where we've cut the little notch out there um, and I've cut along this piece here and along this cut I've sewn along that piece so that you can see it's got the stitch marks there and along this piece um, so that's all done now I need to just trim this little bit up here oops not quite level okay now let's just ink a little bit of this I had a bit of a panic yesterday because the light bulb on my sewing machine had gone and I thought it was my sewing machine so I did panic a little bit because um, when I go to my sewing machine I always expect the light to come on and it didn't so that's why I thought it was broken so it's now I need to go and find a little light bulb okay so that's just inked up just a little bit like that okay so that's that done so now I need to sew I need to sew along that top piece there and along this bottom piece here and actually I might sew down there as well just so it's got the stitch marks all the way around it I will probably do that okay two secs be back okay so that's all stitched now all the way around the edges so now what we need to do is just pop a little bit down the spine bit here just to reinforce it so I've got some of this light calico here which I'm going to use so I'm going to just stick that down there let's just cut that off there a little bit of glue just to hold it on before I sew it just like that I think I might actually do it on the inside and the outside. I don't think that's quite long enough. Let's see, let's get another piece. There we go. About the same size. Use any bits of fabric or you can use an even in a thicker piece of paper, piece of card just to reinforce the spine just so um, the card doesn't rip or the paper doesn't rip so let's just pop that down oops, I went a bit too far over pop that onto there like that perfect now I'm just going to sew either side of that okay, just to hold it on 
Okay, so that's all sewn in. Let's chop these little bits off like that. Fold that up. Little bits there as well. Okay, perfect. Now, what I'm going to put on here, I've got a little heart here somewhere. I did have, here we go. Now I'm going to pop him like that. Let's just squish this down a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm going to pop that one there. I'm going to pop a little brad through here. Now where's my little tool? Stick that on there. Little hole, Let's just see the little hole there. Pop it through, pop that through, and I'm just going to get a little brad like this. Oops, pop that through there, pop that through there. Then I can just open it up on the inside like that, and then that just flips over and holds it closed. Squash it down, right? Leave that there. So there we go. So that wasn't too bad, was it? Now I've already made the folded up the paper here um, to go into here. So I've got these sheets, which is just. All as I did, I tore, I got some um, tea stain paper and I just tore it in half like that and then folded it in half. So it's just one sheet. And this one to make the little pockets. All as I've done, I've got a sheet of tea stain paper. I folded it in half and then folded it in half again. Now I need to do the same here and make a little notch out of here like that just to make the little pocket so where's my pencil so do that on there and then again on the back one like this like that and then we just need to just cut these out like this Okay, so you can sew around this ones and the other ones I did, so I'm going to quickly go and sew around here, just along this bit um, and down this bit. So really, you want to sew all the way down along here on both sides, so along this edge and along this edge. So I'm going to quickly do that. Okay, so that's that all sewing up either side. So then what we need to do, let me just trim these little bits off here, like that. And let's just add a little bit of colour to it. Just on that inside bit there. And this outside bit, oops. Okay, that's perfect. So then what we need to do is just pop those together like that and I'm going to glue this along here I suppose you could cut it and um, not cut it sew it if you wanted to but I'm going to quickly glue just glue down this edge just like Okay, so that is your little pouch there. So we've got a little pocket in there. 
and then we've got a little pocket in there so that little pocket can go into any journal anyway can't it so now what we need to do is just sew that into here not sew it we're going to pop some ribbon on this one just like that so let me get my bits and pieces over here put the lid on my little butterflies what did I do with that before I knock them over okay so what we need to do is go a little booklet we're going to get a needle you need one with a nice big hole in it a nice big eye to your needle to pop the ribbon through and what I'm going to use I've got my ribbon it's this lovely pink satin ribbon now what I normally do when you're sewing in signature you normally do like three times like this I've actually doubled it and I'm going to do it six times like that so just do it a little bit more than you would normally because you can always cut it off it's better to have it too long than too short okay so what I want to do pop this in here to get a new book soon this one's falling apart I can then use the pages. Right, I've got my pokey tool. Pop that through like that. So the same as you would do anyway for a signature. It's the same thing. But you need to make a big hole. Put that to the side. So these holes have got to be quite big. This one, this end, like that, so they're nice and big. And just pop that through there so I don't lose it. Pop the ribbon through here, I can see, like that. So, any soft ribbon that you've got, now we want to come up from the outside in. So we want that little this bit on the outside right so we go same as you'd sew in the signature but you're just sort of doing it with a ribbon but you want to make sure it's a, a little bit tidy let's go through here oh. this is where you need to have the hole quite big so you can pull it through and not put, rip the paper. There we go. And we want to go down, back down through the middle, like that. Okay, so that looks nice and neat in the middle. I think I've already got way too much ribbon my needle back out of the way so I don't lose it that goes down like that and then same as you do inside your um, journal you want to pop these either side make sure they're roughly the same length pull it quite tight and then just tie a knot like that nice and neat and what you do you put one round the back like that and then you've got your little closure with your lovely bit of ribbon like that so that's quite easy and then you're not going to lose it so look I've cut off a little bit too much but you can have a nice big bow on the front so there we go guys easy peasy so that's a lovely little journal so you've got your little closure attached you've got your little pocket here again you can put a pocket you can put anything else on there so you can embellish it as much as you like you've got little pockets here these are the little journaling cards that come in the kit as well so they will fit in there 
just you might have to just cut it down just a little bit wonder if it will fit in the back one yes perfect so the little journaling cards that come in the kit fit in there perfect that goes on there that flips up and then you put it all together and you tie it up so there we go guys that's a quick easy little um envelope journal which are great little gifts great to send people great for your um if you've got some grandchildren that like to journal or even just using it as like a little coloring book would be quite nice um which i'm going to send my granddaughter and grandson some for christmas so that they can just do some drawings in it and then their mummies can keep them keep them somewhere safe um which they'd like to see when they're older so i like that so that's the other one i did so i think they're really really pretty um, so please do give it a go um, and um, thank you so much for joining me i hope you're all safe and well um, and i hope you're crafting all right guys you take care and i'll see you soon bye bye mm -hmm.